Hello y'all, today we'll be making an F104. So I'm going to show you all my build process and kind of how you'll need to make these planes and trail makers. Make, how to make them look good or how to improve at building school. So I'm going to open up Sketchfab, my first thing. So, by the way, while on trail makers you can press Windows or Alt Tab. Go into Google. And you're going to want, uh, want to Google Sketchfab and at the top. You can search most things. If you can't find your aircrafts, I'd recommend just searching up your aircraft name, then whatever you want. So I'm going to put an F-104 in there with a minus because that pops up the best results. Finding the model I like. Doesn't matter about the paint off the start. I'll wait for it to load a little bit. Then, off the front of the nose, I usually start from the nose because if you start from the engine, it will most likely scale your nose wrong, or scale the rest of the stuff wrong compared to your exhaust, at least in my experience. And I don't like starting from the wings, because any hinge glitching you do won't be even off the start. That will mess up your build later on. So, I'm going to start from the front. That also will help with the intakes relative to the cockpit. You can see all the scaling of the aircraft, just kind of observing it for right now. So, I'm going to start building. I'm going to start with hinge glitching noses. Teach y'all a little bit about how you do some of this stuff. So, I personally like turning the steering help off. Going to the distance sensor on here and show y'all how some of this works. So, just straight off the bat, I'm just going to actually do this. I usually make my noses about three blocks tall. Also, another thing, instead of having to always put a block in front of your distance sensor, you can just go in here, put the distance to zero so it never can detect anything, it just invert it. That's what I usually like to do. So the actual distance sensor itself has to be shut off for it to stop working. Also, if you don't have a seat placed down, it will reset all of your controls on the hinges if you try and delete them beforehand. So I'm just gonna do this, make sure it's activated. Bam, it's a little bit too much angle, so I usually put this about 15, 10-ish. Let me look back at this. This one's more about 8 degrees. Maybe a little bit more. And then also sometimes it helps to uh, make it flat, level with the ground, so you can really see. So I'm just going to put this on a little stand right here. Alright. Degrees was a little bit too little. Gonna check up on that again. I'm thinking of making the cockpit three blocks wide. The fuselage can also be about three blocks wide, and it'll be fine. Usually, that doesn't look the best. This one, the cockpit's not much less wide than the rest of the aircraft. Put that to about 12. Okay. long enough. Also going to cover this, cover up holes. Yep. Alright, and then I like putting it down to a point, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make it slightly less. This shape looks weird right now. So it'll look better in a second. Just so gonna copy this down. Flip it over. This should already be activated. Bam, nice fine point. Now, as you may notice, there's also tapers in from the sides. Most people completely forget that noses taper in also from the sides. Well, or at least they just don't usually do it. So, what I'm going to do is instead of um, making Hinges straight across from here, which I'd have to do a bunch of blocks that would merge in, it wouldn't be good, there'd be holes. I'm going to actually, so leave those for now, I'm going to put hinges on here, and then use some rounded blocks to make it look better. So, uh, off of here will be fine, let me check, wait, well, let me check again. So... The top and bottom of the nose start tapering at about the same point, and 
um, the sides too. But, can't really do that without it being connected weird. So, I kind of have to do something like this. And then I have to make it not connect to the sides. So what I'm gonna do is actually cover all of that. Like so. Then I'm going to use one of these. So this won't connect to the sides. I could rotate it like this, but I think I'm going to do some wedges more like this. So I'm actually just going to place two of those down for right now. I'm going to have this already like that. Nothing's connected yet. Do that in just one second here. Then I'm just going to copy these down along here. Everything's connected. This makes a nice flat line right here. These will taper in once I connect them. So usually... I'll do something kind of like this. It depends. This looks round enough. Um, it's gonna leave a little bit of a hole. It's okay. Uh, I'll find some more stuff uh, later on. If I could separate this one, that'd also be nice, actually. Um, so, with how I'm doing it so far, it's not gonna be the best for a fully round. So, uh, to connect this on both sides down to here, I might actually need to move this one forward, which is two blocks, which is not as good as before. Or I could just replace that with this. Be fine. So now, from the top, it's glitching in. Once you don't have many blocks, hinge glitches still like to glitch, so you don't really care about what you have so far. So I'm just going to move that. So this is plugging in. Then along here, and so then I'm gonna have this progressively get smaller because I don't need this big of a curve anymore. So I'm going to use some pipes. You can get really creative with this. So like so far, just like that. It is okay. So hinge glitches, they can glitch into the thing that they're connected to, like that the hinge is connected to, but not into other hinge glitches. So this doesn't want to go into that one. So I'm probably just going to reduce this angle a little bit. To give it some more space. Yep. Then, from top down, it looks pretty good. There's a little bit of a gap there. It's okay. Um. Bam. And I could... So, here's something that I also recommend. These accessories are very useful. I don't have many right now. Probably will grind for them later. I bought a lot of these, though. Like this lab flask. Before, um... This cone was in the game. Was basically the equivalent of that. Just... One block long. Very, very useful. You can decal it so it's not clear as well. Um, I'm probably gonna say these are the most useful ones. You can make a little bit of extra detailing with that and you just decal over them so they're not chrome. It's like this one. I'm just going to take a square. Right now it's just gonna be color this color. That's what the color my avatar is. Bam. Uh, then I'll just redo this decal. Bam. Okay, this will glitch in. The other side's not the same. Did not need to do that. Now, as you can see, these are colliding with each other, making some glitches. So, if I just make this angle a little bit less, that works. And then, if I just use like a single pipe at the end of each one, that. It's pretty good. It's a little bit thick on the top. I should probably also make this angle a little bit less. Right there. Bam. A little bit too straight. Now you can do multiple splits. The F104's nose though is more one angle. And I think this is pretty good. Now I might actually go into here. Delete that. Make this one a longer one. Like that. No, not the best. It's also about trial and error, which one's like the best in your opinion. And then also off of here, I could do like this thing at the end and angle it back straight. Um, I don't think uh, that'll probably clip well. It'll be fine. So this will still bug into this stuff as long as these don't with each other too much. And then also this bottom part's gonna be hidden, 
so it's okay that it's not chrome or that it's still chrome I mean so I'll just start off up here so this first angle is 10 degrees so to counteract that I'm gonna make this angle up by 10 degrees so then anything I put on the end of it will be level with the rest of it so right here bam I forgot to activate it the distance sensor bam still falling forward because it's so heavy in the front now okay and you're like there's a bunch of holes on the bottom I'm gonna fill that in in a second this top pretty good liking it um could do it a little bit differently this is okay for now though then the whole point of this nose is it's even on both sides so i was trying to make it so there's nothing in the middle here as you can see i'm just gonna flip this over um if you paste steering hinges where they're not connected off of right where they attach they will get con their controls back so ha as, as i did there they were unconnected as soon as i pasted them like off so they got their controls back so that's another thing to keep in mind you're just gonna have to do that kind of annoying yeah whatever these are now going into each other though so i'm gonna delete these end ones and probably these this will work fine all blocks do have a little bit of clip again also as you can see whenever they go on disattached this is not allowed to uh control them so there we go just like that especially when they're not attached so just gonna have to do some of that. I know it's annoying, but blah, blah, whatever. Okay. So right there, filling in a little bit more. Still gonna be some holes. It's okay though. Going to take like one of these maybe. So most of blocks in this game don't have accurate hitboxes like this one. It should technically be smaller, but I'm pretty sure the whole hitbox goes around the entire thing. Most wedges are pretty good where the hitbox is pretty much where you visibly see the wedge um but like this okay so this one's pushing into it a little bit too much i think i'm forced to do this another thing to keep in mind um this this light right here is very good for something like a part of these <clears throat> a part of these or as like part of a curve right here now i'm not connecting this but you can kind of see that it's a little bit ugly, it's more TikToker style where it's more rough. And then you can just decal over these like that. And then just make sure the controls are there, it's not there by default. Bam. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a shield to cover up over this stuff. Now, I made a nose very similar to this on my MiG-31 that's currently in progress. I'm probably going to make a video out of that uh, in a little bit. Um, so we got our thing here. Now, this is not covering up very much, um, just itself. So I'm probably just going to do this and just connect this with a pipe. These pipes are pretty good. I think their hitbox still goes too far down, but, uh, it works pretty good. And looking decent so far for, for a nose that's still tapering off. And it looks pretty good from most angles. So then I'm just going to take a little armor plate just to fill in a little bit more space. Just like that. Doesn't do very much. Helps a little bit though. Um, pretty decent for the nose. I might edit it towards the end. I'm going to make this angle a little bit less because it's still glitching a little bit. Make stuff a little bit less tight on each other. This will add up to one degree difference on both. Yeah, that got rid of most of the glitching. Now I can actually reduce this angle though. Because it's not angling all the way down, I don't think, actually. If I just reduce these both to nine. Because they are colliding with each other. So they don't want to go all the way much they're meant to. So yeah, that's pretty good. I'll just make that a little bit less. I think it's also getting pushed up by the thing below it. Yep, that's fine. Um, actually just gonna delete that. Don't need it. Yeah, I just made it better. Bam! Nose! And, I'm going to save this as 104. And the more you play this game, the better you'll get with, um, most of your hinge glitching. So this I made quite a bit ago, I just updated it recently though. Because it was...
something weird. Hold on. Right. Sorry, my friend was calling me. Um, I did a decent job on this nose. Not the best. I like this plane a lot. It flies pretty nice and lands decent. Um, as you can see, I use a lot of armor plating to help cover up most of that nose. Looks good from top down, especially. Most planes don't look like uh, as good as that from top down. Didn't do the best on the intakes. Uh, lots and lots of decaling though. All right, back to the F104. This one will probably be longer. Let me check how long this is so far. 15 minutes. All right, I might end this here actually. Just a little guide on nose stuff, and then I'll add uh, at the end. Uh, how I finish this.